Welcome back, everyone. It's an opportunity to get out and serve your community in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Bridget Shears and Michael Nixon from the Utah MLK Human Rights Commission are here joining me to share how we can join in and help and be a part of our community in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Welcome to the both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank there you. is a, an event, a special event happening this weekend. Tell us more about it. It's a day of service, correct? Yes, well, we will be having, um, we are in partnership with the Utah Jazz and annually we do something to um, you know honor the legacy of Dr. King um, on a, a King holiday, and uh, this year we're having a great big event at the uh, Vivint, Vivint Arena, and we are uh, we we are already full. We ha it was a registration, um, but if you're not able to attend that. Um, uh, event, then we'd like you to really want to encourage you to get out and do something in your community, uh, for your school, for um, your community at large, um, doing something. I mean, helping a neighbor is, is a good way to do service. Um, during our event, we have First Lady uh, Abby Cox and Governor Cox coming to talk about service um, and her organization that she supports Show Up Utah. And uh, we're just excited that there's this opportunity. It's a day on, not a day off. And we say that a lot, a day on, not a day off, because right. we are heading into this holiday, but let's do something to feel right. a part of our community and honoring the legacy exactly. of Dr. King. Let's also talk about the, um, this license plate, right? Yes, yes. What is it about? What what specialty does it do, and what can it, how can it help your organization? Well, this is a specialty license plate that was um, commissioned many years ago, like 2015, um, by commissioners uh, Roderick Land and Rebecca uh, Chavez Hawk at the time. And we came back to it because it was something that was we felt was extremely important that we really wanted to promote. Um, so we started working with Representative Sandra Hollins and we were able to launch the, the new um, license plate last year in 2021. Well, oh gosh, it's 2023, sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, one of the things that we uh, want to make sure that people are aware is this is a very inclusive license plate. It's for anybody. It's about one Utah. Um, you know, many voices, one Utah, and we want to encourage people to, to consider this license plate. Um, there is no revenue that comes to us mm -hmm. for it, but we, um, we want people to recognize that we're all about being one Utah. I like the message. And Michael, let's talk about a resource that people can turn to this weekend if we want to start the conversation of Dr. King. Yeah, absolutely. The King Commission has developed what we're calling the MLK Day Toolkit. And what that toolkit is, is a collection of resources, all primary source, right? So his speeches, videos of different civil rights icons, a message from Governor Cox around the holiday. And this is something that families or businesses or really anyone could go onto the website and download that has these resources you can watch or read and then it has conversation starters right questions that you can discuss about those resources and as well as activities within the community and things that people can do year round to really promote the legacy of Dr. King and, and celebrate those principles of nonviolence that, that he was promoting. So this toolkit, it, it, it touches on learning, practice, explore, discover, and do, do something. It's a call to action, yes, right? It is. Exactly, uh, like, like you guys mentioned, it, if we're just sitting, uh, sitting around, on this holiday, I think I think we've missed the point, right? This is an opportunity really for us to go get involved. Um, and, and that can be in a really helpful way, right? Serve someone, educate yourself about different issues, engage civically. I mean, even one of the resources on there is simply just getting a library card, right? Mm -hmm. Engaging in the different parts of your community and just that wonderful community resource we have is, is a great way to celebrate that legacy. Thank you to the both of you. Where can we download this toolkit? It'll be available on the MLK um, website, which you can get to through the Division of Multicultural Affairs. And we are going to be launching it officially um, this week, the end of this week, and so that it's available on uh, MLK Day. So keep an eye out for it. It's on multicultural.utah.gov slash MLK. Thank you both for being here and sharing your message about Dr. King. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.